Good evening everyone, this is Baron. Today we're going to be going over should you get the RSI Pack 2951. Now, these videos aren't always for everyone, but I cover a ship and then I cover a pack, you know, just keep it fresh, keep it different, but we're going to get straight into it. So with the uh, 2950 RSI Pack, or 2151, sorry, you will actually get all of the vessels except for the, I think it's the Phoenix Emerald and the Ursa Rover... Um, that special edition Ursa Rover, I think it was the Fortuna. So, we're going to be going over this pack and whether or not it's really worth it. So, obviously, as you can see, you get a, all the RSI vessels except for those two that I just mentioned. So, the Orion obviously is a capital miner. You got the Polaris, which is a sub capital ship, which has grown the Perseus, which is also another fantastic ship, which I've got. The Aquila, the Andromeda, the Taurus, and the Phoenix. Now, I feel like they're all junk, except for the Andromeda, because it's obviously a missile boat, and it does have some good capabilities. It's got the uh, twin size fives and the um, good size fours. The triage, the medivac are both very good ships. The medivac is probably a little bit better because the beds are a little bit uh, adjustable in terms of being able to make it a tier one or tier two bed. The mantis obviously being interdiction. Scorpius being the new heavy fighter that's coming out at the first quarter of next year, and then you've got all those crappy Aurora. Uh, ships there. So obviously there's a lot of great CCU uh, opportunities there. It is a LTI token to pack. So as you will see in a little while, I'll show you what the pack actually looks like and we'll go over the costs and whatnot. So the Mantis, yes, it's a good ship. Fighter, not really. You need to be with someone that is in a fighter. So that's probably where the Scorpius will come in later or whoever's got a fighter now. Percy's, great ship. Uh, four size sevens. Uh, you got your turret at the back there, which is um manned which well is a remote turret you've also got um one at the very back here so you know the, in terms of coverage it's not too bad but anti-fighter wise if you get swarmed you're not gonna have a great deal obviously go check out our deep dive on the persis and the polaris we're doing some more coming up soon so like i said there's some great vessels in here the triage and the medivac you probably don't need them both but i guess it's good to have them both the medivac serves more of a purpose than the triage obviously being more combat ready than the triage but again both great ships um like i said all of the constellations great ships the obviously the phoenix being the, sort of the upper class here model having that sort of that back section where you can show off your ship um you've got the taurus which has just come out which is obviously a dedicated cargo vessel which is also good. You've got the Aquila, which is um, like exploration, sort of doing yeah, exploration, expedition sort of stuff. And then you've got Andromeda, which is a cargo warboat sort of ship. So there's that. But if you really took look at it, you don't really need them all except for the Andromeda. Now, getting these ships separately would be a hassle within itself, but you can do it. You can get, like, if you wanted the Orion, get the Orion. If you want the Polaris and the Perseus as well, bang, three, there you go. You don't need this whole pack and spend the amount of money that this is going to cost you. I mean, you're better off getting the Aegis Dynamics pack, which is obviously a little bit more expensive, or the Drake pack. Um, so going into the cost of this ship, these ships, obviously, as you can see, we've got the list here. It is lifetime insurance, and you do get the industrial hangar. So that is the price there. So we're going to be going over the pricing. I feel like, you know, this ship pack is quite um, extensive in terms of pricing. So, obviously, you've got your um, Polaris, which is worth $750. You have your Perseus, which is $675. Orion, $575. You've got your Phoenix, which is $350. Uh, the Aquila, $310. And then so forth, like the Medivac, $275. Triage, $250. This will be over the screen, so you'll be able to see that. Um, and Scorpius, $220. Andromeda 240, so we'll swap those two around. But as you can see, there's a big thing uh, about these ships. So I would say don't get this pack. It's just for the crap that you get in, it's not worth it. I mean, you can CCU chain all of those ships, which would be fantastic in the long run, I guess. But that would take a long time unless you really want to just pump money in at once. You know, you don't have to really do that, which I wouldn't really advise it. It's something that you want to do as progressively as you could. But again, you don't have to really get this pack to do that. You can get a lot of other packs that have great CCU values in their hulls and you don't have to pay as much for the vessels that are in that said pack. So go through all those should you buy videos that I've done. Um, so like I said, there's some good savings in this pack, but really is it worth the price? I don't feel that it is. I mean, you get like all the great ships, but again, 
I don't feel like you're going to be getting a lot of value out of this. It's just, yeah, like I've said, it's filled with junk. Let me know now down in the comments what you guys think. Like, I love RSI, but yeah, I just don't love it this much to get this pack. So, just keep that in, um, keep that in mind. So, you know, so for the given good chips in this pack, but for the Aurora series, just fills this pack with junk, which you probably don't need. I don't mind it sometimes, but I feel balancing the ships you want and don't want, it would be a much wiser idea to just buy the ships you want individually or use the others as LTO, LTI tokens. But again, like I said, it can be costly and it can hurt the pocket. I own the Scorpius, the Perseus and the Polaris, so I'm happy with those ships. I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. I have those um, in my hanging out at the moment i do i have melted the Perseus, but i am going to get that back so there are many other packs that um are much better than this one that if you want it i mean go for it just think about what you're doing before you get this pack because obviously it is going to be quite um it's going to hit the pocket a little bit so at the end of the day you're trusting me to make the judgment and using my opinion and the appropriate choice of what I feel based on facts and my honest opinion to you guys because I don't want to lie to you I'm not being paid for this I'm just giving my honest opinion on what I feel about these so you know at the end of the day it's all up to you but the um the total cost for these vessels is 4,205 if you were to buy them all individually and you can acquire all these vessels individually um so yeah uh so with the actual war well the normal price of this it's 3875 for war bond is 3525 so your war bond saving is 680 dollars your normal savings is 303 now remember this does not include any taxes at all this is just the base price so just remember that so in my honest opinion and my humble choice I would say do not get this pack. It's not worth it. I mean, there is a lot of junk in it. I mean, you do get the Constellation series, but again, it, the, the junk outweighs the good. I mean, well, it doesn't really outweigh it, but, you know, it's it's just crap that you're paying for that you don't really need. And like I said, you can just get the selected chips that you want and be done with it. So take it with a grain of salt on what I said. Um, again, go down to our Discord. Uh, I thank all of our patrons and channel members, Fateless, A12345, Real, uh, Ronald Rosenthal, and the Real Donald Dump. So thank you so much for everyone for watching. I'll see you in the verse.